a sought after retirement location, a family friendly town close to the beach, an affordable place to purchase a home. In today's video, I'm sharing with y'all everything I know about Foley. So if you're considering a move to Baldwin County, don't go anywhere because this is one city you need to know about. I'm Jess, and if you didn't already know, my handsome husband Tony and I make these riveting videos showcasing our beautiful slice of heaven in lower Alabama. And then you call us because you wanna move here and we help you all find your dream home and the rest is history. But wait, there's more. Then we all share our common love for coastal Alabama together. It's like a secret club and we want y'all to join, so keep on watching. I live in Baldwin County and I'll say this, Baldwin County is growing and we've got so many great options to choose from. Foley has gone through a pretty substantial development boom in the last decade with commercial developments like restaurants and retail and there's a ton of new residential neighborhoods. One of the biggest draws to Foley is the location. You're so close to that amazing beach that you've been vacationing to for years and just couldn't help but fall in love with. People are drawn to Gulf Shores for our white sandy beaches and turquoise waters but once they see the home prices, they start exploring other options and Foley is always top of the list. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach are easily two of the most expensive places to buy a home, but living close to them is actually surprisingly affordable. Living in Foley, you still have access to the Gulf of Mexico, but for a fraction of the cost. From downtown Foley to Gulf Shores public beaches is just 10 miles. You're 10 miles from the most gorgeous beaches in the entire world, say no more, sign me up. So let's talk home prices in Foley because that's what's most important. Can you afford to purchase a home here? I mean, living this plus paradise has got to come with a pretty hefty price tag, you'd think. But one of the best things about Foley is its affordability. The average price for a home is between 300 and 350,000. And guess what? There's a good bit of homes going for the twos. In fact, believe it or not, right now you can even buy a brand new construction home for the low 200. Now that is unheard of. Now where else can you buy a home this close to gorgeous beaches for that price? There are also some great 55 and up communities for all of you retirees. You've got Foley Grove and Live Oak Village. Those are both great options to consider. They're affordable with great amenities. Best part, you'll never see snow here. So you might be thinking, okay, what's the catch? Why is it so affordable? It must be a mediocre place to live. And that couldn't be any more untrue. You'll find some beautiful homes here and you're not out in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty centrally located, smack dab in the middle of the Eastern Shore and Gulf Shores. Sure, it's rural, it's Baldwin County, so expect to see some farmland. There's gonna be trailers, there's manufactured homes, old farmhouses, some houses that might be unkept, but you're also gonna find some established neighborhoods that are well taken care of, new build communities with amenities like parks and pools, and there's also custom built homes on acreage. Foley is a place for everybody. And amongst all of those homes is convenience for everyday life. And just being in close proximity to important things makes Foley a top contender. It has everything you need like restaurants, gyms, shopping, which includes the state's largest outdoor outlet mall. You'll have easy access to the new South Baldwin Regional Medical Center. There's also a really well-run bowling alley. Foley is also centrally located between Pensacola and Mobile, making it a good place to live for those needing to work who again want to live in coastal Alabama, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to either of those locations. For veterans, you're not far from the VA hospital in Pensacola or the commissary. You've also got the VA over in Mobile. Um, Tony and I personally use the VA in Pensacola, but both are good. There are some great attractions right in town like Foley Railroad Museum, the Foley Art Center, and OA, which is an indoor water park and outdoor amusement park. Now that is all great for kids and families, but for those who aren't into those kinds of activities, there's also downtown OA for restaurants, for shows at their theater. There's a wine bar, an ice cream parlor, and lots of shopping. No video of ours would be complete if I didn't mention the local golf course in town. Glen Lakes Golf Course is right in town and is widely regarded as one of Gulf Coast's premier golf facilities. They have a beautiful course. With all those great attractions, it might seem like Foley is a busy place to live. Now, while it's growing rapidly, it still holds its small town charm. It gets quiet at nighttime, the town goes to bed. It's not a place where there's cars and noise on the road all night long. Um, a lot of places are closed on Sundays because we are in the Bible Belt. The community of Foley is welcoming with lots of local events that take place during the year. Off the top of my head, you've got the Art in the Park event or um, Barbecue and Blues Cook-Off. Both of these are coming up and everyone who lives in town participates or joins in on the fun. The police department is very active in the community and works hard to keep the city feeling safe. As for crime, a big chunk of it is petty crime due to all the retail shopping. 
it feels like a safe place, whether you're out driving or walking in a parking lot or playing at the park with your kids, you're never gonna feel like you're in an unsafe area. Foley is full of transplants, making it a place where you can definitely find your people and make friends. I can't tell you all how many people we've met who are from the Chicagoland area, and they all say the same thing. We wanted to get out of the cold and closer to the beaches. Amen. A lot of our clients, especially the moms, worry that they won't make friends. And I'll tell you all right now, there's so many welcoming people here. Go on Facebook and type in Baldwin County Moms or moving to Baldwin County, and you're going to find so many mom meetups or local groups that are made to connect with other transplants. It's a true melting pot here, just on a way smaller level compared to some other places like Florida, for example. And I have to mention this, I try to in all of our videos, people move here because of the culture, the Southern hospitality, and our laid back lifestyle. When do you get down here? please be patient. I'm looking at you Midwesterners, and I can say this because I grew up in the Midwest. When you come here, don't be demanding. Don't huff and puff at people who move a little bit slower in the grocery line. Don't freak out on someone who is talking to the person in front of you. Don't lay on your horn because the light turned green. Don't yell at someone at your front door because they're late to install your new hot water heater. Be kind to your waitress. Don't yell at your realtor because they didn't respond in three seconds. Remember, people have families, other clients, they've got church, their kids have activities. The world doesn't revolve around you. But in the South, I can 100% assure you that we care about you and we're gonna take care of y'all. In the deep South, we take our time, we enjoy little things, we stop to smell the roses, we take the extra time to hold a door or share a conversation. If you can't respect the slower paced life, or if you don't have the patience, then don't come here because you won't like it. You won't fit in or you'll disrupt our peace, okay? And rant, one good piece of information for any of school age children, if you're concerned about the public schools in Foley, you have the option to enroll your children in the Gulf Shores City School and attend as an out of district student. There is also a big selection of private schools, charter schools, and the area is also a popular homeschool community with lots of support groups and homeschool meetups are available. Foley is a hub for fresh produce because of the abundance of family-owned farms. So if you want to live a farm-to-table life, this is a great spot to check out. And you know, we have a subtropical climate here, and because of that, you can grow a lot of great fruits and citrus trees. Vegetation is year-round here, making it a really perfect place for those looking for that homestead lifestyle. I'll be honest with y'all, though, traffic along 59, which is the main artery in Foley, can get backed up during spring break and our summer season which makes it frustrating for locals to get around, particularly if you live in an area where the side roads aren't in place to allow for avoiding that traffic on 59. If you can live with some traffic during our tourist season, then Foley could be a really great place for you to live. For more information on moving to Foley, call us today, the number one relocation team in Lower Alabama. And to learn more about other areas in Baldwin County, check out this next video.